In this video, I will show you how to connect your Fire TV stick to Wi-Fi without the remote control. So, over here is my Fire TV stick and as you can see on the screen, it is currently not connected to the Wi-Fi and I actually cannot control this device because I do not have the remote control. Now, there are basically two ways you can go ahead and connect your Fire TV stick to Wi-Fi without the remote control. The first is to simply trick the Fire TV stick to connect to your current Wi-Fi by changing the name and password of your current Wi-Fi to the same name and password of your previous Wi-Fi. Now, this is not so much of a big deal and I'm going to show you how to do it in a second. So take for example, if I want to connect my Fire TV stick to the Wi-Fi or hotspot of my mobile phone over here, what I will just do is to go over to the Wi-Fi settings or hotspot settings of my mobile phone. So just go over to the settings and you can simply just use the search bar over here to search for hotspot on your mobile phone or your smartphone. And then you want to go ahead and click on the hotspot settings. Now you also want to go ahead and turn on your hotspot and then go over to the set hotspot um, menu. And then you want to go ahead and change the name over here and the password of your current hotspot of your mobile phone to the same name and password of your previous Wi-Fi. Now what this will do is that it will simply trick the Fire TV stick to connect to this Wi-Fi thinking that it is actually the previous Wi-Fi. So I'll just go ahead and change the name. Now you also want to make sure that it is exactly the same as the previous Wi-Fi. So just make sure that the name and the password is exactly the same. And once you're done changing both the name and the password of your current Wi-Fi to the same as that of the previous Wi-Fi, you want to go ahead and click on the done button. And then you also want to go ahead and turn on your hotspots so that the fire tv stick can now connect to this particular wi-fi and once that is done you just want to wait for a minute or two and your fire tv stick should automatically connect to this new wi-fi but if it still does not work after some minutes what you want to do is to go ahead and turn off the fire tv stick and then just turn it on this time once it is turning on again it will automatically start searching for available wi-fi and then connect to this current wi-fi that we've just changed to now, in my case, I literally just went and turned it on and turned it off again. Now, let's see whether it will connect to this Wi-Fi or not. And as you can see over here, it is currently connected to my new Wi-Fi. And finally, if you want to move a bit further to be able to control your TV, even without the remote control, you can simply just go ahead and connect another mobile phone to this same Wi-Fi. And then just go ahead and download the Amazon Fire TV Stick remote control from the App Store or the Google Play Store and then use it to control your TV directly from there. Coming down to the second method, if the first method did not work out for you or you probably have not connected your Fire TV Stick to a Wi-Fi previously before to now change the new Wi-Fi name and password to, then what you just want to consider doing is to get a wired internet Wi-Fi. Once it is connected to the TV, you have immediate access to the internet and you basically will not have any issue using that. I am going to leave a link in the description of this video where you can actually get wired Wi-Fi at affordable prices. So you can just go ahead and check the link in the description of this video. And that will be all in today's video. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.